What's going on guys? It's Greg here, aka New York Prepper. In this video, I'm going to share the results of a recent ballistics test that I completed, and that was the 300 Win Mag rifle versus heavy duty three quarter inch plywood. And the rifle that I used in this test was my Ruger M77 Hawkeye Alaskan with the 20 inch barrel. And the plywood that we used was some heavy duty three quarter inch southern yellow pine five ply plywood. And this is not your normal plywood, this is five ply plywood and it's three quarters of an inch thick so it has five layers of wood that are glued together in alternating grains it's some very tough stuff normal plywood is only three layers or three ply and is only a half an inch thick so this is some really tough plywood and recently I also did the same test with the 500 magnum and 44 magnum and I'll leave a link up above if you didn't see that video. And I cut the plywood into one foot by one foot squares and screwed them all together. In total, I screwed together 25 sheets of this heavy duty three quarter inch plywood for the 300 Win Mag test. And as with all of my tests, I like to test both solid non-expanding bullets as well as traditional expanding bullets. And for the solid non-expanding rounds in this test, I used some choice ammunition, 180 grain cutting edge solids traveling at 2,850 feet per second out of my 20 inch barrel Ruger M77 Hawkeye Alaskan and generating around 3,300 foot-pounds of muzzle energy. And I know these numbers are true because I actually chronographed these loads out of my 20-inch barrel Ruger rifle, and I know that the velocity of 2,850 feet per second is accurate. And for the traditional non-expanding rounds in this test, I used some Underwood ammo, 180 grain Nosler Acubons traveling at 3,000 feet per second out of my 20 inch barrel Ruger and again I have chronographed these loads so I know for sure that this is the actual real world velocity and not just what's printed on the box. So stay tuned to see how many sheets of 3 quarter inch heavy duty plywood the 300 Win Mag can penetrate through with solids and expanding bullets. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy the video.
All right, guys. So I want to share the results of the test with you now. I was pretty surprised by the results. And what you're looking at here is all of the sheets of plywood that the 300 Win Mag penetrated through. And as you can see, it's a lot of plywood. It's 24 sheets of heavy duty, three quarter inch southern yellow pine, five ply plywood. This is not your standard plywood. Standard plywood is only three ply or three layers of wood glued together, and that amounts to a half inch of thickness. This is three quarters of an inch thick plywood, and it has five layers per sheet of wood glued together so it's very tough stuff and it's extremely bullet resistant and very strong and so the choice ammunition 180 grain cutting edge solid traveling at 2850 feet per second out of my 20 inch barrel Ruger M77 Hawkeye Alaskan penetrated through 24 sheets and the Underwood ammo, 180 grain Nossler Acubon traveling at 3,000 feet per second, penetrated through 10 sheets. So that's some pretty impressive penetration by the 300 Win Mag, especially the Choice Ammunition 180 grain Cutting Edge Solid, which penetrated through 24 sheets, and that amounts to roughly 18 inches of plywood. But even the Underwood ammo 180 grain Nossler Acubon penetrated through 10 sheets. That's still a lot of penetration for an expanding bullet. And I'm going to show you guys what the wound channel looks like from that Acubon. But it left a huge hole in the plywood. I would say roughly about half an inch to three quarters of an inch diameter wound channel in this plywood from that Acubon. So that's really, really impressive. And if you were to use that round on any kind of big game animal, it would have a very lethal effect. And that Choice Ammunition 180 grain solid performed extremely well as expected. And I've done a lot of testing with that Choice Ammunition 180 grain solid. I'll attach links up above if you didn't see those tests yet. But I shot that round through half inch drywall and it penetrated through 88 sheets. I also shot it through some hardwood logs and it penetrated through three and a half logs. I also shot it through some Douglas fir 2x10s and it penetrated through 14 2x10s. And I also shot it through some oak firewood and it penetrated through seven pieces of oak firewood. So check above at the top of your screen and you'll see links to those tests. So I was a little bit surprised by how many sheets the 300 Win Mag penetrated through. I was expecting it to only penetrate through 15 sheets with the 180 grain solids and maybe around five sheets with the 180 grain Nossler Acubons. And the reason why is because I recently did this same test with the three quarter inch plywood, but I used my 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum and 44 Magnum revolvers. And I tested bare loads and expanding bullets out of those revolvers. And specifically the 500 Smith & Wesson with the 440 grain buffalo bore bare loads only penetrated through 10 sheets and the 44 magnum underwood ammo 305 grain bare loads only penetrated through five sheets and that roughly corresponds to the same amount of two by tens that the 500 and 44 magnums were able to penetrate through when i did the two by ten tests and I'll attach a link up above if you want to check those tests out. So in the 2x10 test, the 500 Magnum Buffalo Bore hard cast bare loads penetrated 9 2x10s. And in the 3 quarter inch plywood test, they penetrated 
10 sheets of plywood. So that means that roughly one sheet of the five ply three quarter inch plywood that you see here corresponds to one two by 10 in terms of bullet resistance. And same thing with the 44 Magnum. The 44 Magnum hard cast bare loads from Underwood penetrated through four 2x10s and five sheets of plywood. So I was thinking that based on these results from the 544 Magnum that we would see the same level of penetration with the 300 Win Mag. So the 300 Win Mag when I did the 2x10 tests, they penetrated through 15 2x10s with the 180 grain solid and about 5 or 6 2x10s with the Nosler AccuBond. And I'll attach a link up above if you want to check that video out. So that's why I was thinking that the 300 Win Mag would penetrate through 15 sheets with the 180 grain solid and five sheets with the Nosler AccuBond because I thought that it would correspond to the same level of penetration as the 2x10s but I guess I was wrong and the 180 grain solid ended up penetrating through a lot more than I expected and it penetrated through 24 sheets so nine more sheets of plywood than I thought and the Nosler AccuBond penetrated through 10 sheets or double what I thought okay so that's some pretty impressive penetration guys and the 300 Win Mag is not really known for being a super duper penetrator it was never really designed for that it was designed for long range hunting and long range sniping but with the right bullets you can see that the 300 Win Mag can easily be used for dangerous game I would not feel undergunned if I had to use my 300 Win Mag against a brown bear, a charging brown bear with the 180 grain solids. I have no doubt in my mind that it would penetrate the bear's skull and shoulder bones. And if I had some good constructed expanding bullets like the AccuBond or TTSX or Partitions, I would not feel undergunned at all on a brown bear hunt because you'll see in a minute when I show you the wound channel that that Nosler AccuBond created in the plywood is basically the same size wound channel as my 500 Magnum with 440 grain hard cast bear loads. So I'm going to go through each sheet of plywood now one by one so you guys can see the entrance and exit holes and so you can see the wound channel. And then I'm going to pull the bullets out of the plywood and weigh them so we can see what kind of weight retention they have. And also so we can see what level of expansion they got. So stay tuned. Alright guys, so let's go through all these sheets of plywood one by one. So this was the first shot that I took with the cutting edge solid. And this was the second shot that I took with the AccuBond so here's the first sheet and normal entrance hole nothing spectacular here just a basic 30 cal entrance hole on the back you can see not much expansion yet with the AccuBond but it just started to expand you can see it's a little bit bigger than the 180 grain solid alright and then you'll see in a second here how big the holes start to get Okay, here's sheet number two. And you can see in the second sheet, the exit hole starts to really get big. Okay, look at how big that exit hole is there. That's just from the second sheet. Okay, here's my pinky for reference. I would say this is probably already about a half inch diameter hole right there. Okay, here's sheet number three. And you can see that entrance hole here I can now already fit my index finger into the hole okay and I have big hands guys I'm six foot two and 250 pounds I'm not a small guy and I can easily fit my finger into this hole so it's a big hole right there 
And this is why I'm saying that the 300 Win Mag is a great option for large game and dangerous game because although the bullets are lighter, the level of expansion is extreme. And if you have well constructed bullets that are either bonded or are a partition, they're going to hold together and they're going to perform really well. Or also a solid copper expanding bullet like the TTSX or TSX are great options as well. But you can see how it basically turns into a 50 caliber or even 60 or 70 caliber hole. Okay, that's just a massive hole there. Very impressive. Here's sheet number four. And now you can see this hole is just absolutely huge. Okay, I can fit my thumb in there. Look at that, guys. Look, I can fit my whole thumb. All right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the diameter of this hole in a little while so you guys can get an exact measurement on how big this uh, hole is here. But, I mean, that's probably, I would say, an inch. Okay, one inch hole right there. Here's sheet number five. Okay. And here's the back of sheet number five. The exit hole there. Okay. Here's sheet number six. You can see the... 180 green solid is still going. Still a big hole in sheet number six from that AccuBond. Okay, still a massive hole there. Look at that huge hole. Just very impressive. I'm really impressed by the Nostler AccuBond. I think it's a great bullet. It's also a very accurate bullet. Here's sheet number seven. Okay, and here's the exit hole there. Here's sheet number eight. And you can see it's still a huge hole. I could still put my thumb in it. Okay, look at that, guys. Absolutely insane. There's the exit hole on sheet number eight. Here's sheet number nine. Okay. There's the back of sheet nine. And here is sheet number ten. Okay, this is the last sheet that the AccuBond penetrated through. All right, you can see a lot of the lead fragments here. And I was only shooting at roughly 25 yards, so a lot of the lead was probably shed because of the extreme velocity when it hit the wood. But I imagine if I did this test at a longer distance, there would be much higher weight retention and here's sheet number 11 and you can see that bullet stuck in there okay it did not penetrate through sheet 11 but it left a huge dent there okay you can see it, it cracked the wood but it didn't actually go through and the 180 grain solid is still passing through so we're gonna pull this AccuBond out of the 11th sheet and we're gonna take a closer look in a minute and here's a dent from that AccuBond on the 12th sheet. Okay, pretty impressive dent there, as you can see. Um, 180 green solid still going. Here's sheet number 13. Sheet number 14. Sheet number 15. Okay, sheet number 16, where's that, right there, you can kind of barely see it because of the knot in the wood, sheet number 17, that solid is still going, okay, it actually even went through this knot, it's pretty impressive, here's sheet 18, Alright, now we're getting into the last few sheets here. Here's sheet 19, sheet 20, right there, sheet 21, sheet 22. Sheet 23, 
and here is sheet 24 you can see the base of the bullet here okay check that out there's the base of the bullet and you can see the nose penetrated quite a bit through the 24th sheet and I'm gonna just say that it penetrated through 24 sheets just because it's such a long bullet as you can see this is three quarter inch plywood and this bullet is over an inch long so I'm just gonna say 24 sheets you could say 23 sheets but I'm gonna say 24 because a lot of the nose already went through the 24th sheet okay check that nose out guys it didn't really deform that much it's still pretty flat okay look at that beautiful bullet there just really impressive results with this cutting edge solid check that out guys and here is the 25th sheet and you can see it left a huge dent in the 25th sheet okay pretty deep little hole in there so I'm gonna pull the bullets out of the wood now and we're gonna weigh them to see what kind of weight retention we got and I'm gonna take some measurements of the wound channel and the expansion of that 180 grain AccuBond and we'll take a closer look at both of the bullets to see how they deformed so stick around All right guys, so I was able to dig the bullets out of the plywood for you so you can see what they look like. And here's the 180 grain cutting edge solid and you can see some of the scratch marks on it and that's just from me trying to pry it out of the plywood. It's not from the plywood itself, okay? But you can see this bullet is pretty much intact. The nose flattened out just a little bit okay you can see the nose flattened out just a little bit but it's still pretty much maintained 99 percent of its original shape okay it's a pretty long bullet okay so very impressive results with that 180 grain cutting edge solid from choice ammunition 24 sheets of three quarter inch plywood I absolutely love this bullet I'm gonna start working up hand loads for this bullet and I also have some 210 grain solids that I'm gonna work up hand loads for and do penetration tests with so stay tuned to my channel for those tests and here is the 180 grain Nosler AccuBond and you can see that the bonding process worked and the core and jacket stayed together okay it's a little bit hard to see because there's some pieces of wood blocking but you can see the lead core is still in there it didn't separate from the core and with a lot of the cheaper bullets like for example the Hornady super shock tip or SST bullet those are not bonded and so I've tested the Hornady SST before and the jacket will completely separate from the lead core which is not what you want for dangerous game probably fine for deer and target shooting but for any kind of large game or dangerous game you want a bullet like this that's gonna stick together the core and the jacket are gonna stay together as you see here there's the base of the bullet okay you can see the base there and you can see the jacket just completely peeled all the way back and the reason why is because it's such a high velocity 3,000 feet per second at 25 yards that's what you're, you're gonna get you know you're gonna get this extreme expansion and the jacket is going to completely peel back like it did here you see the piece of the jacket there but as you see the lead is still with the jacket so the bonding process worked and in some of my other videos where I tested for example the Hornady SST you know that bullet is completely garbage um, 
not good for anything except maybe deer or target shooting like I said but you know the core completely separated from the jacket with that Hornady SST but you know these AccuBonds are great so I'm gonna take some measurements now we're gonna weigh it and see exactly what kind of weight retention we got and what kind of expansion alright guys so I got my Lyman digital reloading scale here and this is just a hundred gram weight and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that this scale is zero so I'm gonna zero it out for you guys right now just so you can see that it's accurate so you see it says pass so now if I put the weight on there it's showing a hundred grams okay so let's start with the 180 grain solid and that one basically had a hundred percent weight retention 179.9 grains okay let's try that again 179.9 very impressive moving on to the AccuBond the AccuBond had 126 and a half greens of weight retention at 25 yards. That's still very impressive. Okay, so let's just do that again. 126.5 and 126.5. So if you do some basic math, you're looking at over 60 percent weight retention, maybe 70 percent. So now I'm going to use my calipers and we're going to measure the expansion on this AccuBond. And I also have some plywood. I want to measure the diameter of the wound channel in the plywood from the AccuBond. So stick around. All right, guys. So let's measure this AccuBond. See what kind of expansion we got. 0.640. Inches, very impressive, guys. That's crazy. Okay, this is a 30 caliber bullet, 7.62 millimeter, and it expanded to over double its size. Okay, that's very impressive. And here we have 0.54. Okay, very impressive results here, guys. I absolutely love the AccuBond. I think it's a great bullet, multi-purpose bullet. Um, there's obviously better bullets for certain things, but I think it it's a very good multi-purpose or general purpose bullet that you can use for pretty much any situation, and it'll perform pretty well in any situation. And you can see just how long this 180 grain cutting edge solid is. This is 1.11 inches long after penetrating through 24 sheets of three quarter inch plywood so that's a really long bullet and you know that length helps this bullet to maintain stability when it penetrates through uh, deep tissue and different types of media it helps it maintain a straight line penetration path which is what you want for any kind of penetrating bullet. Look at that, 1.111 inches long. That's funny. Must be my lucky day. Um, but that's what you want. You want a nice long bullet like this, which helps to maintain a straight path when it's penetrating. So now I'm going to measure the wound channel in the wood. So stick around. All right, guys, so here we have sheets four, five, and six, and I think these are the sheets that had the biggest diameter holes. So I'm gonna measure them right now for you guys with my calipers. So here we have almost an inch in diameter, okay? 0.9 inches. It's absolutely huge hole. Okay, that's a 30 caliber bullet that created this hole. It's just absolutely insane okay 0.96 okay so we're gonna say about an inch for sheet number four and here is sheet number five look at that hole guys that's just amazing let's just see what kind of expansion we got here also about an inch 0.999 measuring the outermost part of the hole 
so we're going to say about an inch also okay um, it's just some crazy expansion there anything that you hit with that bullet is going to die quick all right same thing with this one about three quarters of an inch for that inner hole and then if we measure the outermost part we're getting about an inch there okay so pretty impressive results with the 300 Win Mag and this is the reason why rifles are better than handguns when it comes to hunting dangerous game and also for dangerous game defense I know in recent years handguns have become very popular for people hiking or backpacking in bear country but as you can see even the most powerful handgun in the world the 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum with hard cast deep penetrating bullets could only penetrate 10 sheets of plywood versus the 300 Win Mag with expanding bullets the Acubons penetrated the same amount okay so that's really impressive that the 300 Win Mag with expanding bullets could penetrate the same amount as the most powerful handgun in the world the 500 Magnum with solids okay hard cast solids that are made for penetration and the solid 300 Win Mag was able to penetrate two and a half times the amount as the 500 Magnum so that's why rifles are always the best for defense and for hunting of dangerous game or big game. Uh, handguns can work, but rifles are much better. And as you can see by this test, that proves it. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I'm going to do a few more penetration tests with the three-quarter inch plywood. I'm going to do 308 next with full metal jacket and soft points and bonded federal fusion and then I'm gonna do 416 Ruger which is an elephant gun a safari cartridge so that'll be pretty interesting and then I'm gonna do some other penetration tests over the next few months so stay tuned to my channel for more ballistics and firearms videos including hand loading hunting and other outdoors content so thanks for watching take care god bless and don't forget the three p's prepare practice and persevere